So today I'm going to show you how you can write a news article with AI, okay? So this AI tool will collect all of the latest information about your topic, whatever it is you're writing about, and will create an article for you. So you can choose this. I'll leave a link down below. It's called Journalist AI, and you can get three free articles here. So let's just log in. I already have an account here, so I'm just going to log in first. So all you need to do is go to the generate articles, right? And instead of a blog post, we're going to use a news article. So all you have to do is put in the title. So what I did here was I just put in AI tool news. Okay. So what are the latest developments in AI? Okay. It's obviously a very important topic that lots of people want to keep up to date on. And you can change the target country and put the target language, right? So you can change the language language, whatever language you want. And it's as simple as that. All you have to do is generate article. So this is the article that I got. It actually just went out and chose the Microsoft Build 2024 conference. And that is the news story of May 2024 when I'm recording this video. Okay, so Microsoft just released a lot of things. Google and OpenAI released stuff last week, but it didn't go find that. It went and found the most relevant news, which is about Microsoft. If you go to X or Twitter now, today, you'll find everything is about Microsoft. So it actually went and found all of the information here, all of the latest releases that Microsoft have done. It's a recall feature that captures everything on the screen. So, well, we're not here to talk about that, but as you can see, we got a full article, a news article here about all of the latest developments. So you can do this for whatever your news story can be, right? In this case, it's AI, and you also get the sources here, so you're able to find out what it is. You also get a featured image, right? If you want to use that as part of your article and a meta description, probably won't use that for a news article, but anyway, it's there for you if you want to use. So, so what I'm going to do is copy this and post it into ChatGPT, right? And I'm just going to ask it to fact check it just to make sure that everything is okay. We should also do this ourselves, but in this case for this video, I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to do it <laughs> for me. Okay, so the information provided by my, about Microsoft Build Conference is mostly accurate. Okay, I suppose what I really want to know, is there anything that is inaccurate? Okay, because we don't want to make any mistakes and put out any misinformation. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so now we have something to check on. So it says there was no mention of recall feature acting like a personal his historian in the sources reviewed. Okay, well, I mean, maybe they came up with this part in the article, but that's okay. I suppose, you know, that's fine. It is a personal historian maybe it's not exactly that but it's fine right so again you can just check the links and check the sources in the journalist ai article and check the sources yourself especially if you're publishing online so i can just copy it into my newsletter provider this gives people a roundup of the latest developments with ai so you could be running many many newsletters at the same time and with a few vas and you know checking all the information you can just work so fast and write news stories with AI. So I encourage you to check this out now. Give it a shot yourself. If you're running a newsletter, you can use it. If you're a journalist and you want to get a first draft, then this can be a really cool tool. I definitely recommend trying it out and see if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, then that's fine. If you prefer writing everything yourself, that's okay too. But if you do want to get an extra help, maybe with certain aspects of the news, maybe even just to get some news that you might have mi missed, you know, Google can be quite difficult sometimes to get a wide variety of sources. So, you know, AI tools are great for getting something that maybe you miss because you can ask them to do, get me something unique. You can use journalist AI to get you five news stories and then use ChatGPT to get you two more or something like that. So give it a try. I'll leave the link in the comment down below. And thanks for watching and subscribe for more AI marketing content creation tips.